Welcome back to the Epinexa YouTube channel. Thank you as always for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to add items, categories, modifier group, and uh, make a mass amount of changes to your inventory directly from the Clover dashboard. So if you're on the home screen of the dashboard like we are here, you're going to navigate on the left side over to inventory. Once you select on inventory, the first option that's going to pop up is items. So to add an item, you click the big green button that says add item on the top left. Then we're going to put in the item name. Let's go with sneakers. You're going to put in the price of the item. Let's say it's $50. And we're going to hit continue. Now, once you click on continue, it's going to take you to the item profile. A uh, couple things to go over here. Number one, you want to make sure that show on POS is turned on. This is an example of it turned off. This is an example of it turned on. Um, price, uh, you want to make sure obviously you put the price in and then the pricing type, whether it's fixed, variable, or per unit. Obviously with sneakers, it would just be a fixed price. Then check, make sure you have any of your taxes preset on here. Make sure that is checked off. If you have default taxes turned on to, let's say, New York State sales tax or your specific state's tax, that'll automatically go on for you. If you want to change the item color, so it changes the little color tag in the um, on the actual Clover POS, any of those devices, you can just select a color there. And if you're showing online, make sure you click the box that says show online and enter a description. Description can be basically whatever you want it to be, and then you would scroll down. Once you scroll down, just click on modifier groups. Any modifier groups you would like to attach to this item, you can do that from here. Just make sure you click save. And applying it to a category, same thing. Just make sure you click add, and then apply to that specific category. Make sure you click save. And that is how you would add an item on the Clover dashboard.